Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today we're going to be setting up the Fitbit Alta HR, that's the one with the heart rate monitor on it, onto an iOS device. We're going to be using an Apple iPod 6 generation. Now, a Fitbit Alta is basically an activity tracker, so it tracks how many steps you do and what kind of exercise you do, and it can also monitor your heartbeat, sleep patterns, etc. Now, when you buy it, you get very little information in the actual package at all. You get a leaflet here containing things like warranty and safety information, and you get this little booklet here, which really tells you not very much at all, apart from, to start, download the Fitbit app, and it just gives you this web address here. So I will be able to go straight into the App Store to download the app, but just to make sure I am installing the right app, I am actually going to go into the browser, input this information, and that will then bring me to the App Store. So we need to go to www.fitbit.com forward slash setup. So that's what we're going to be doing here. So I'm going to go into Safari, and up here I'm just going to type in the web name that I just mentioned. Right, okay, so there we have it. We've got www.fitbit.com forward slash setup, and I'm going to go to go. And now it's going to bring me to this page here, and it says to set up your Fitbit device on the supported Apple smartphone or tablet, install the free Fitbit app. So I need to go to the App Store by pressing this icon here, and it's saying open in App Store. Do I want to cancel or open? Well, I do want to open it. Okay, now this is the app here. Now I was playing around with this earlier, so that symbol is going to look slightly different on yours. On yours it's going to say get, G-E-T, or install, something along those lines. So I'm just going to tap on this one here, and now it's going to start downloading the app. Okay, now I fast forward through that to make it a little bit quicker, and now you're just going to have to tap on open. Okay, and it says there, welcome to Fitbit, and it's asking you to join Fitbit or to log in. Now, because we haven't set this up before, we are just going to have to go to join Fitbit. And it's asking me what Fitbit I have, and it lists the different ones down here. So as you can see, there's quite a few. But my one is the one up top here, the Alta HR. So I'm just going to tap this. Right, and it's got a little picture of it there, and as you can see, that does look like the item that I actually have. Right, okay, so it says here, set up your Fitbit Alta HR, so I need to tap down here. And now, first things first, to get an accurate picture of your activity, please tell us a few things about yourself. So basically, you are then going to have to enter in stuff about yourself. Right, now, how tall are you? This is in centimetres. Just want to know, is there an option to change this into feet and inches? Right, no there's not. So, in the UK, I don't know how tall I am in centimetres because I use feet and inches. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Siri how much 5 foot 8 is in centimetres. How much is 5 foot 8 in centimetres? 172.72 centimetres. Right, okay, so now we know what that is. So now we can go back to the app. And it 173. There you go, okay. Go to next. What's your gender, male or female? Male. Next. What's your weight? Just leave it at 10 stone. Obviously enter in whatever your one is. And now you're going to have to enter in your birthday as well. Right, okay, now it brings up this next screen here. It says, now let's put a name to those numbers. So we're going to have to enter our first name, last name, email and password, and also check boxes here. So we're going to have to definitely check the first one, otherwise it won't let us go forward. And we're going to have to check the second one. I'm not going to check the third one because I don't want a load of information coming through to my emails. So, so I'm going to check the first and the second but I'm going to leave the third blank because personally I don't want to receive information from Fitbit, but if you do, obviously tick that one as well. So I'm just going to enter in my first, last name and email and password. Now, here it only gives you one space for the password, so make sure you do enter the correct password, otherwise next time you go to log in, you're not going to be able to get into it. Normally, it gives you two fields for the password to make sure you enter the same thing twice because you would be unlikely to enter it incorrectly twice, but here this only gives you the one field so make sure you enter it very carefully because if you enter it wrong you're not going to be able to log in again 
Right, it has to be eight digits long, so your password has to at least be eight digits long. And then it says here, turn on Bluetooth to allow Fitbit to connect to accessories. So this is going to connect, the app is going to connect with the Fitbit via Bluetooth. That's how it's going to download all the information off the Fitbit onto the app. And that's how we're going to sync it up to initially set it up as well. So I'm going to click OK to allow it to turn the Bluetooth on on my phone. And it says here, by tapping I agree, you accepted a Fitbit terms of service and privacy policy that applies to Fitbit devices and services. So I'm just going to tap I agree. It says, again, turn on Bluetooth to allow Fitbit to connect to accessories. So I'm going to have to turn on Bluetooth. So on the iPod, I'm just going to scroll up from the bottom. And if you have a look here, I've got a symbol for Bluetooth. So I'm just going to tap that there. And it says Bluetooth on. Now I can just get rid of that. And I'm just going to tap I agree. And now it says meet your Alta HR trackband and wristband and charging cable next. Plug the charging cable into a USB port, connect it to your tracker and make sure the goal pins are aligned. Okay, so if you have a look at that. Right, OK, well, I'll show you that in a minute. It's actually found my tracker already and it's come up with a number. So let's have a look at this number here. So this must be like a security thing to get it initially set up to begin with. So if we have a look there, it says 9941. So we're going to have to enter that number into here. 9941, like so. And now it says connect into the Fitbit. Okay, now for the fun. Walk through the basics to learn how to make the most of your outer HR next. I'll show you the charging in just a minute. Bump, whack or tap. Double tap your Fitbit Alter HR to turn on the display. Then single tap to flip through your stats. Pressing won't work since it's not a typical touch screen. So you're going to have to whack it. Yeah, you can see what's happening here. It's showing you just to tap it there and then it will come on. Let's go to next. We'll try all these in a minute. You can also turn on display by turning your wrist towards you. So the same as you're telling the time. So you know when you go to tell your time you flick your wrist up to look at your watch. So by doing that it will also turn on the Fitbit. Go to next. Wear your Alta HR every day to track a variety of stats. Your daily goal is set to 10,000 steps and resets at midnight. So it resets every single midnight and you aim to get 10,000 steps a day. OK, let's go to next. Sleeps and alarms. Automatically track sleep by rearing your tracker to bed on your wrist. Use the Fitbit app to set silent alarms. So I presume a silent alarm means where it will just vibrate and it won't wake up your partner. To next. Alter HR will buzz when you receive text messages or calls. Turn your wrist towards you to view a notification. You can configure notifications in your app settings. So obviously you're going to have to set that up so it syncs up to it. How to wear it. All day. Wear the band loose enough that it can move back and forth during workouts. Secure the band so that it lays flat, two fingers width above your wrist bone. Oh, okay, so wrist bone there, so it needs to be two fingers above the wrist bone, so it needs to be around here. So that's your wrist bone here. Right, go to next. Clean your band and wrist regularly with soap-free cleanser. If your tracker gets wet, remove and dry completely. Take your band off from time to time. If you notice skin irritation, please remove your tracker. See our wear and care tips. So these are not waterproof. They're splash-proof, but they're not waterproof. So you don't want to take this swimming with you. But it will be fine with sweat and it will be fine in the rain as well. Which wrist will you wear your tracker on, left wrist or right wrist? So you can just swap it by tapping it there. I wear my watch on my left hand, so it's going to be on my left hand. Go to next. Select your preferred clock face, vertical or horizontal. OK, well, let's have a look at the difference between them. So it gives you the different options there that you can do. So I'm going to want it, the time and the date. So I think that's going to be the best one for me there, that one there. Or you can have it horizontal. So you can have it like so. Yeah, so quite a few different options there. But I'm going to have it vertical, just like a normal watch. 
and I'm going to be doing the one with the date on as well. Right, go to next. You can swap your current bands with an Alta HR accessory bands. Just push the latch in and slide the bands up. Okay, I'll show you that in a minute. Now get moving and make every moment count. Done. It says logging in. Fitbit would like to send you notifications. Notifications may include alerts, sounds and icon badges. These can be configured in settings. Okay, I'm going to press allow for the time being and I can always then unallow it via the app here. Now I'm not going to talk about all the different things in the app, but basically you can have a play around with it yourself. There's already going to be different videos on it. You can see there's icons that you can tap down here. And then you can see here, historically you can go back. So we're on today. Now there's not going to be any data because this has just been turned on, but yesterday, Friday, and I can go back, 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 back. So historically you can go back that way to see how much you're doing. And it tells you here how many kilometers you've done, calories, how many minutes exercise, and how many steps you have taken. So from here you've been able to see historically that you've done 10,000 steps. Now obviously this uh, thing here has been getting jiggled around the place, so that's why it reads 35 steps. Right, let's... Uh, see how to charge it up now to charge it up we only have this here so we have to plug it in either to a laptop or something or ideally what we really need is something like a usb charger so if i have a look at this one here this is what i use to charge up my amazon fire tablet i'm just going to re remove the usb from it and if you have a look you can see that it's five volts at one amp so this is going to be fine it's usb that's five volts it doesn't say on there how much power it actually needs, but one amp is going to be more than enough for it. You'll probably get away with a lot less than that as well. So really, any USB charger that you have that says 5 volts will work fine. Personally, I would probably stay away from the fast chargers as they can output a lot more voltage. It shouldn't ask for more voltage, but if the charger's got a chance of outputting more voltage, then in theory you could damage it. So just stick to one that says 5 volts, even though it should never go above 5 volts anyway. You don't want that risk happening so just plug in that bit there there is a little button here which i'm not sure i'll have to look up what that button's for on the usb i don't see the reason of having that there but okay so all we're going to do is plug this into a power supply so i've just got a uk star power supply there and if you have a look it mentioned the two gold pins earlier when i pinch this it opens up and this is going to clip onto the fitbit so i've got two little gold pins here don't lose this charger you can buy them off ebay and amazon but it's not like a micro usb charger that you can just swap out this is a proprietary lead that's made for the fitbit so none of your other items are going to use this particular bit here now if you have a look back here We've got three little gold pins. We need to line up these two gold pins with these three gold pins. So let's just clip it on here and it kind of finds its own. It gives you a little vibrate. If I put it on there, it's not on, but listen, it kind of clicks in and I don't know if you can hear, it makes a little noise. Probably can't feel that, but it just vibrates ever so slightly. Right, okay, so that's that there. And you can see now it comes up with a little battery charging battery charging symbol on it it's this way around that's how you wear it the Fitbit's there 35 steps if I tap it that's the heart rate that is the kilometers walked I presume that's calories that's how many minutes exercise you've done that's the battery again and that's the time so as you can see it's 10 past 6 or 6 10 and it's the 18th let me tap that again it's Sunday the 18th and you do have to give it a double tap so, and then to move through the menu, you just give it single taps. But to initially to liven it up, you have to give it a double tap. And it only stays lit up for a couple of seconds. So if I was to double tap it now, you see it comes on. So let me tell the time there. And it gives you just about enough time to tell the time and the date before it goes off. That's it. And now let's try it where you bring it up to your face. Yeah, there you go. Now obviously it won't come up with the battery symbol when it's not charging, it's gonna come up with the time. So let's say it's like that, you go to read the time and it comes up there. So let's just put it on and just see how quick it does actually do my heart rate. Normally my uh, standard heart rate is normally pretty high. So you just put it on like a normal watch. This is the small, uh, this is the small one. So if you have a look at the front cover here, the size is small. You can also get it in large and you can get it in extra large. I'm not a very, uh, Big guy, I'm only five foot eight, pretty skinny. But on me, it's on the fourth 
little hole there and even on this little bit here is quite nice because normally on this little strap this little uh, thing here that stops this flapping around there's also a little bit of plastic hanging down there that corresponds to one of these holes here so it's quite a nice uh, quite a nice little design because that's going to stay in place now it's not going to keep sliding on up but if you have a look there you can see that fits pretty snug on my wrist and if I was to put it to there like that to tell the time I can do 6, six 11 but it doesn't give you very long 6 11 and it's Sunday the 18th and now to scroll through let's see how it takes the heart uh, the heartbeat let's see what happens there I'm not sure if you have to tap it or not yeah there we go so uh, was that 101 let's go on to that again but my start at 87 as I said I don't know how accurate this is but my uh, standing heart rate is really high there you go 87 88 right let's just see how the steps work and see how quick it updates itself right so it's 35 at the moment so let's uh, pretend we're walking and now let's see what happens there you go 47 48 49 Right, and let's see how quick it comes up to here again. Right, it says Bluetooth pair request. Alta HR would like to pair with your iPod Touch. So let's just click pair. That seemed to be a little bit slow. At the moment it says uh, 35 steps. Let's see how quick it updates. Right, let me go out of it and back into it again. So my Bluetooth still on up here. Right, so at the moment that little thing's flashing there, so hopefully now it will update itself to 48 steps or whatever it was. Bluetooth pairing failed. Okay, let's try again. Oh, there we go, there you go, you see it says 49 steps, so it has updated. And you can see that there's a little bar going across here up the top. Right, it says here, email verification required. I think the problem is, is because I set this up beforehand on an Android phone and now it's probably thinking why has the same Fitbit been set up to two different accounts so that's probably why I need to do an email verification because obviously I've just done it on the iPod here just for the video this is actually set up with an Android device right okay but you get the idea anyway so that's uh, that's how it works here now what I would say is if you're buying this for a young child then it's not going to look too good in their wrist because as you can see it's kind of made for an adult's wrist because even though these do go pretty small so even though this can go all the way down to you know down to the smallest hole there the problem is the width of it is not flexible because this bit here is a fixed unit it doesn't bend smaller than that so that bit there is still only going to be about the size of an adult's hands so really if anybody has much of a smaller hand than me it's going to start to look baggy on them Because let's say if a kid's you know wrist is like like so big or so then you're gonna get a gap either side even if you can do the bottom bit tight it will fit them and it will probably work fine but you are gonna have a gap either side because this bit here is actually quite wide so uh, yeah that's it and if you're wondering which way up it goes it's got a little fit bit there so that's the orientation of it let me just show you how to change the straps just in case you've ever damaged these or you fancy going for a different color it's quite easy if you look in here there's just a little tab here that sticks out you just press that in like so and then slide out and you can see now when I press that in all that's happening is that's moving out like that it's just sprung loaded and it just clicks into place on here so when you push it in it just clicks in like so and press that and push out so listen like that and it's the same on this one here like so yeah there we go and if you did want to wear it on your other hand, then you can swap them around and then you've still got those bits down the bottom there like so. Yes, yeah, so they go either way around. 
really easy to do, yet it feels nice and secure when it's on. So it doesn't feel like that's just going to pop off, it feels pretty good, it feels like it's securely on. So it's a nice item that looks like it's well made, but then again it's not cheap. You know, this one here was 130 UK pounds, and yet you can get ones that look very equivalent on Amazon for around 30 to 35 pounds. But I presume the app and the software and stuff is much better with the Fitbit than the other versions that you get. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care. Bye now.